Now let's deep dive into the uh, uh, dimensionality reduction method working process. Let's unveil the working process and uh, real life applications of dimensionality reduction methods. So the working process of dimensionality reduction methods varies depending on the technique used. However, most methods follow a similar a general framework let's begin with the uh, data pre-processing so this data pre-processing step involves cleaning the data identifying the missing values handling the missing values identifying the uh, identifying the duplicates and handling the duplicates identifying the inconsistencies and handling the inconsistencies identifying the uh, identifying the outlier and handling the outliers okay by and large uh, the same thing will be doing there so then now uh, we will move on to the second step which is feature selection or feature extraction so dimensionality reduction methods can be categorized into two main approaches first one is feature selection and the feature extraction so feature selection methods aim to identify uh, feature selection methods aim to identify and select a subset of the original features uh, based on certain criteria such as correlation, information gain, or statistical tests. So these methods retain the original features but uh, discard the irrelevant ones. And this is what we have done uh, in the first, uh, uh, first section of uh, feature engineering step four, which is part of uh, uh, supervised machine learning process. So we have seen the feature selection methods where we have seen univariate selection where we have seen the statistical test, then we have seen uh, variation threshold, then uh, 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 information gain and many more tests under that. Okay, forward and backward selection. So the, these are the uh, so these are called as a feature selection method. So here what happens? So uh, feature selection methods fundamentally target to identify and select a subset of the original features based on a certain uh, criteria. Okay, then these methods retain the original features but discard the irrelevant ones. But whereas the second one is feature extraction method. So far we have covered up the feature selection method. So now we are just entering into the feature extraction method. So that's the reason. So even these uh, the methods that we have seen under feature selection also can be called as a reduction dimensionality reduction methods okay so now we will be jumping into the feature extraction methods so feature extraction methods what they do these are transform the original features into a lower dimensional space using mathematical uh, transformations these methods create a new features known as components or factors which are linear or non-linear combinations of the original features. Examples include PCA, LDA and NMF. We have discussed earlier about this principal component analysis and linear discriminant analysis and NMF multi-factor one. Okay. So this is what is called feature extraction and this is what the major difference between uh, the feature selection and uh, feature extraction. In feature extraction, so this method basically transform the original features into a lower dimensional space using the mathematical uh, transformations. That's it. This is the fundamental difference between feature selection and feature extraction. So these methods create a new features known as a components or factors, which are linear or non-linear combinations of the original features. I think you are getting the difference between a feature selection and feature extraction. Of course, you have seen what is feature selection. Now you will be saying feature extraction. If you don't get it, if you are unable to grasp it, if you are unable to pick it up, don't worry, I'm going to help you out. So next uh, uh, step three is evaluation. That's it. So the performance of the uh, dimensionality reduction technique is evaluated using appropriate metrics such as explained variance, uh, reconstruction error or classification accuracy. 
so then now let's look into the some of the real life example the where this uh, a dimensional uh, dimensionality reduction methods can be useful so the first one is face recognition in uh, face recognition systems uh, uh, dimensionality reduction techniques like uh, PCA and LDA are used to extract uh, the extract discriminative features from facial images reducing the dimensionality of the data while preserving the essential information then we have the uh, document classification another example in text mining and uh, natural uh, language processing uh, dimensionality reduction methods like latent semantic analysis lsa i'm repeating latent semantic analysis lsa and the term frequency inverse document frequency we call it as a tfidf TFIDF term frequency inverse document frequency uh, are used to reduce the dimensionality of the document uh, term matrix enabling efficient and accurate document classification uh, then we have the DNA sequencing in uh, genomics uh, dimensionality reduction technique uh, techniques are applied to reduce the dimensionality of DNA sequencing data, enabling tasks such as a clustering of DNA sequences, identification of gene expression patterns, and classification of generic mutations. Then we have the anomaly detection, the most important anomaly detection in various domains such as network security and uh, fraud detection dimensionality reduction methods are used to detect anomalies in high dimensional data by identifying patterns and uh, deviations from a uh, normal behavior so these examples uh, highlight the diverse range of applications where uh, dimensionality reduction techniques play a crucial role in extracting meaningful information from complex and high dimensional data sets.